Okay, we're live at Shelton Vineyards. We got just finished with the Eagles Tribute Band on the border. Amazing set. Uh, you guys sound just like the original. Just incredible. And you are Tracy. How's it going? Nice to meet you. You're the... Uh, the Glenn Fry. Okay, the Glenn Fry of the band. Yes, sir. And when did you guys get your start? 2010. Okay. We started this band, yeah. Excellent. A bunch of us have played together for about 20, 30 years, so... Wow. Yeah. And yes. how, who did, how did you decide to form a tribute band? What was the... Uh, to get out of playing bars. Okay. <laughs> to be honest. Okay. <laughs> Something more, you know, focused. Okay. But we had to choose a, a band that had a lot of hits, and the Eagles have a lot of hits, so... Yeah. We're still not And this is not, it. hopefully, not your farewell tour. No, no, okay. not our farewell tour. Nope, not at all. We, we have a few, well, we have a decade at least left. <laughs> okay, cool. And uh, how did you decide to even form the band? What was the basis for... Uh, most of us were already in a band together, and we just talked about putting it together, and we did, and added Bobby and Tim, and that was it. Okay. And everything else just fell in place. Okay. And have you ever heard anything from any of the original Eagles members? Uh, no, not Never? really. Nope. I've met Joe Walsh. Timmy's done some stuff with, wow. uh, who is the guitar Bernie, player? Bernie Bernie, Bernie. Yeah, Bernie Leiden. Tim. Tim did a few things with Bernie Leiden in the studio back in the 90s. Okay. But wow. uh, that's about it. Okay. About How'd it. you meet Joe Walsh? I went to a, it was a private concert that a buddy of mine was putting on, and Joe Walsh was the performer. So that's, okay. I got to meet Joe Walsh there. Wow. Yeah. But he hasn't seen, he's seen you play or anything like that? No, no. Okay. No. And I'm guessing, did you ever get, some Some people are self, are you self-taught or did you take lessons? Oh, or, uh... I had two lessons and I was bored. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't take it. I don't okay. take direction well. Okay. Ask any of the guys in the band. Okay. Is that true, guys? <laughs> I don't take direction well, do I? Hey, See, they don't even pay great. attention. We love them. <laughs> Good to hear. Bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> And how far do you tour? You tour across? all over the country. Wow, we're international now. That's, where's the first? We actually played uh, in uh, Anguilla, the British Virgin Islands. Uh -huh. We did uh, three shows over New Year's Eve, uh, and then we went back in February and did another week of shows. That's incredible. So at Aurora Anguilla, beautiful place. Wow. Yeah. And you got a good reception there as well. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's amazing. Yeah. And we talked earlier, how many would you say, if you had to guess, how many Eagles tribute bands are there? If you had I'd to say guess? there's probably 20 in the United States. Okay. That might be a little high, but yeah, 15 to 20. Okay. Yeah. Have you guys ever done some kind of competition to no. see who's the... No. We have, I have uh, some friends of mine out in L.A. called The Long Run. Uh-huh. Um, really good friends. We've gone out there and played before, and they actually brought us some gear to use. So, cool. you know, you meet some that are, you know not so nice and others that are nice like we don't care we'll invite them up to play with us we don't care hey it got dark real quick <laughs> <laughs> would you up for would you would you be up for like a contest between a battle of the trivia bands would you be? no no <laughs> no <laughs> and just curious why not just curious. i just i don't think it's a competition we're all we're all got achieving trying to achieve the same goal and okay i would invite any of them to come play with us That's hop nice. on stage and play yeah we're not we're not that band we don't have any any, no reserve. It's get up and play. We're here to have fun, you know. Okay, even hypothetically, let's say the Eagles, because they, this is their farewell tour, if they yeah. decided, hey, we'd like to do a contest of the tribute bands, would you be up? Oh, absolutely, we'd be in it. <laughs> yes, sir, we would absolutely be in that. Okay. I'll talk to uh, Don Henley and see if we can get that arranged. <laughs> you do that and get back to me. <laughs> I'll get back to you. You get back to me. Okay. That'd be great. And where is your next tour? Where are you where, after this? Uh, next week, we're actually playing in Lincolnton, and then we leave for five shows in Wisconsin the following wow. week. So, and, and I can't tell you beyond that because my brain doesn't work that hard. Okay. <laughs> are you constantly touring throughout the whole year? Yes, hundred shows a year right now. That's so, very impressive. Yeah, yeah. So. Okay. It's a full part-time kind of band. So. Okay. But we do it as much as we can, and if we can do it more, we'll do it more. And originally, you guys are from Charlotte. Everyone's We're all pretty much based out of Charlotte, yeah. Okay, Everyone's every lived lived in and around Charlotte, North Carolina, you know, for quite a while. So everyone's from Charlotte. No, they're from Boston and Maryland and Virginia, West Virginia, but but everybody's lived in the region for quite a while. So last twenty years at least. So. Amazing. And any decide to do any like originals? Have you thought about? Tim has some originals. Andy Andy had an original band. Uh, a couple original bands back in the 80s and 90s. Okay. Um, 
Tim has a band that currently still plays with him, without him. They have some albums and stuff. So it's okay. uh, the Swinging Stakes, and they're up in Boston, Massachusetts. So he still writes. He has a lot of original music. So, uh, any possibilities of putting out a CD? Us? No. <laughs> no? Okay. I think there'd be some copyright infringement on that. You think so? Yeah. Probably. If it's Eagles, yes, absolutely. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, Don Henley would be on our back doorstep for sure. Okay. He wouldn't, but his attorneys, I'm sure they'd be right there. So. And what's the biggest venue you've ever played in in terms of people? and just? Oh, I mean, we've played for anywhere from 15,000, 20,000 people before. Wow. And we play for 200 one night, and we'll play for 10,000 the next night. So it's all wow. over the place. And where was the biggest venue? What state do you remember? I can't even begin to tell you that. We played a lot of big events. Okay, that uh, is amazing. Yeah, a lot of big events. Okay. And this is your first time at Shelton Vineyards in Dawson? This is first time at Shelton Vineyards, yeah. What do you think of the so, venue? No, it's great. It's beautiful. And okay. the weather was perfect tonight. Okay. Perfect. And how about the wine? I didn't have wine. Okay. <laughs> Okay. If, if I do, have wine, I'm sitting my ass on the lawn. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay. Any any other members would like to join you and make comments? Uh, can you think of anyone you'd like to bring I don't think quick? any of them speak English. <laughs> I'm not sure. Okay. They sing the Eagles well, but I don't know if they speak English or not. Okay. That's Andy back here on the drums. Andy, nice to meet you. Mr. Bob Arazi on the keyboards. That's his new guitar he's got in his hand. Nice. Okay. Bill Morgan over here. Bill rolling up his cables. Hey, Bill. Hey, buddy. Nice to meet you, man. Bye. Scott over here. He's trying to steal something. Scott is Turn the Timothy. Hey, Scott. Scott's the Timothy B. Schmidt of the band. That's right. Is that correct? That's right. Okay. That's right. And back here's this is. I'm not even gonna say it, but that's Tim. Hey, Tim. <laughs> Phenomenal. And Tracy, again, you're the lead. Uh, you're the. I do Glenn Fry. You do the Glenn, Glenn Fry. Fry, yeah. Andy okay. does the Don Henley. Tim does Joe Walsh. So other than that, we just kind of spread everything around. You know, just do it the best we can do it. Okay. And have fun. We don't have a fun around not doing it. Okay. I'm not going to do it. Okay. Very good. And you hope to go for ten or more years longer. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Amazing. Yeah. I got new hips. I'm good till I'm 85. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Well, listen, thanks for taking time yes, out sir. to uh, do thanks the interview. Out. and. Uh, but that way, just so you know, that's more than 10 years from now. Yeah. More than 10 years? 85. <laughs> yes, that's okay. a lot more than 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> and you play the part of, uh, go ahead. Joe Walsh. Joe Walsh. Okay. Super. It's the, it's the easiest part to play. Easiest part? <laughs> yeah. No consistency. Okay. <laughs> we can vouch for that. <laughs> And before we let you go, any more closing comments you'd like to add, dude? Come see us. We'd love to see you. Okay. OTBrocks.com. Check out our schedule. Excellent. Playing all over the country. Okay. Thanks, Tracy, so much. Yes, sir. Thank you. And good luck with the rest of the tour. Appreciate it. Be okay. safe. Have a good night. Good see you. Thanks. Bye.